Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C square. Uh, in this example, I will write a two column proofs and then a flow chart or a flow proof. And what is given in this problem is that angle FBA congruent to angle CBA. So that means this angle here is congruent to this angle. And also angle CAB. CAB, which is this angle, and I'm going to mark it with two arcs. It's congruent to angle FAB, which is this arc, this angle. And again, I'm going to mark with two arcs. Then I need to prove this two triangle you see in the picture are congruent. So we have four ways. We have side, side, side is one way to prove two triangles are congruent. We have side, angle, side, a second way. A third way is angle, side, angle and a last way is angle angle side and if you notice here we have two congruent corresponding angles so that tells me it's one of these two way and the one that will work will be uh, angle side angle because the third corresponding congruent part is this common side the side a b so now i can write the uh, proof, the two column proof. On the left side, we put statements, and on the right side, we put reasons. And we're going to start with what is given. We, what is given to us is that angle FBA is congruent to angle CBA. Then angle CAAB is congruent to angle FAB. Again, that is given. And then, as I said, the third part, the third corresponding congruent part is that common side AB. AB is congruent to itself. And the name here is reflexive property. And now we're going to write the last statement, which is the final statement. Triangle ABC congruent with triangle ABF. And the reason is nothing else than what I said here. Angle side angle theorem. And that's it for the two column proofs for this problem. Okay, and then let's see how the flow chart looks like. I want you to take a look here and you see how similar it is. The only difference is how you organize uh, your proof. And you notice here the given statement right here. Then the third statement that we need to come with the reflexive property and then these arrows and the final uh, statement that we need to prove which is right here and the reason goes under that uh, statement if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you